In the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, behind the dazzling lights and red carpets, lies a world of hidden romances and passionate affairs. Nostalgic Nick here. Join us as we delve into the captivating love life of one of America's most iconic actresses, Farrah Fawcett. From her high-profile marriages to her intriguing relationships, we're gonna uncover the untold stories and the intimate connections that colored her personal journey. Brace yourself as we unravel the secrets and expose the hidden chapters of Farrah Fawcett's romantic escapades as we pull out all the dirty laundry from the closet. Before we dive in, give this video a thumbs up to help it circulate and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a memory. Tom Smothers. In the vibrant landscape of the 1960s entertainment industry, Farrah Fawcett's path intertwined with the charming and talented comedian Tom Smothers, one half of the renowned musical comedy duo The Smothers Brothers. And their union ignited a passionate romance that captivated both the media and fans alike. Tom Smothers, known for his quick wit and comedic prowess, was instantly drawn to Farrah's radiant beauty and undeniable talent. Their relationship blossomed, with the couple often making appearances together at glamorous events. The fusion of Tom's humor and Farrah's charm seemed like a match made in showbiz heaven. However, like many love stories, their relationship encountered its fair share of challenges. The demands of their flourishing careers and the relentless scrutiny from the public eye put strain on their bond. And despite their best efforts, Farrah and Tom eventually decided to go their separate ways. The tale of Farrah Fawcett and Tom Smothers remains an intriguing chapter in Farrah's romantic journey serving as a reminder of the complexities inherent in relationships amidst the glitz and glamour of the entertainment biz. Lee Majors In the realm of Hollywood power couples, few captured the collective imagination quite like Farrah Fawcett and Lee Majors. Their relationship not only ignited headlines, but also solidified their status as one of Tinseltown's most dynamic pairings. Lee Majors, known for his iconic role as the Six Million Dollar Man, and Farrah Fawcett with her infectious smile and signature flowing golden locks, absolutely epitomized the epitome of Hollywood glamour. Yeah, I'm not sure I used that right, but whatever. Their union was a fusion of talent, charm, and undeniable on-screen and off-screen chemistry. Farrah and Lee's love story began to unfold as they navigated the labyrinthine landscape of the entertainment biz. They first met at a party in LA in 1968, drawn to each other's magnetic presence. Sparks flew and their connection blossomed into a full-fledged romance. In 1973, Farrah and Lee exchanged vows and embarked on their journey as husband and wife. The wedding ceremony was a star-studded affair, attended by renowned celebrities of the time. The couple's union symbolized a merging of two talented individuals, both poised for remarkable successes. Lee Major's success as a TV star and Farrah's meteoric rise to fame with her breakout role in Charlie's Angels together made them a formidable force in the entertainment world. Farrah's portrayal of Jill Monroe, the feisty private eye, catapulted her to international stardom, eventually becoming the biggest sex symbol in the business. Meanwhile, Lee's portrayal of the bionic-powered Steve Austin was also a huge fan favorite. Their joint celebrity status and undeniable chemistry made Farrah and Lee the darlings of the media. They graced covers of countless magazines. Their every move was scrutinized by fans and the paparazzi. However, beneath the glitz and glamour, their relationship faced its fair share of challenges. The demanding schedules, constant media scrutiny, and the pressures of their individual careers put a serious strain on their bond. And Farrah's rising popularity and demanding work often forced her to be away from home for extended periods, causing strain on their marriage as Lee wanted her to be more of a housewife. But obviously, as their respective careers continued to soar, the housewife was no more, and Farrah and Lee found themselves pulled in different directions. And in 1982, after nine years of marriage, they made the difficult decision to part ways. Despite their separation, they remained friends and continued to support each other throughout their lives. Jeff Bridges 
Farrah Fawcett's journey of love took an intriguing turn when she crossed paths with the talented actor Jeff Bridges. You know, the dude. Their relationship, though relatively brief, left an indelible mark on both their lives and the annals of Hollywood history. Farrah and Jeff's paths first converged in the late 1970s when they were cast together in the critically acclaimed film Somebody Killed Her Husband. Their on-screen chemistry was palpable, and it didn't take long for their connection to transcend the boundaries of the silver screen. Both were celebrated actors, known for their talent and charisma, and they shared a passion for their craft. Despite the challenges they faced, Farrah and Jeff relished in the moments of togetherness, characterized by warmth, shared interests, and a genuine connection that extended beyond the realm of showbiz. They were known for their adventurous spirits, enjoying activities like hiking and exploring the natural beauty of this world. As their relationship progressed, Farrah and Jeff found solace in each other's company. However, fate had other plans for Farrah and Jeff. Their romance eventually came to an end, their paths diverging. But despite the breakup, they maintained a deep respect for each other, cherishing the memories they had created. Ryan O'Neill Let's face it, few love stories have captured the public's attention and stirred emotions quite like this one. Their bond was marked by intense passion, enduring love, and the challenges that come with navigating the complexities of fame and personal struggles. Farrah and Ryan's paths first crossed in the late 1970s, and their connection was instant and electric. Both were charismatic actors, and they soon embarked on a tumultuous journey marked by highs and of course lows, love and of course heartbreak. Their relationship was a roller coaster ride, with intense moments of affection and turbulent periods of discord. Their love for each other was undeniable, but their fiery personalities and demanding careers often created friction. Together, Farah and Ryan experienced the joys of parenthood welcoming their son, Redmond, in 1985. And we have an entire episode detailing the struggles that Redmond faced in his life, so watch that one next. They shared the common goal of providing a loving and nurturing environment for their child, even as they navigated the complexities of their own lives. But of course, they didn't exactly do that. Again, the Redmond episode will explain. Throughout their time together, Farah and Ryan faced numerous hurdles, personal struggles with substance abuse, the strains of living under the constant glare of the public eye. But despite these challenges, they remained connected by a deep emotional bond. However, their relationship reached a turning point in 1997, when Farah caught Ryan in bed with actress Leslie Stephenson. But that might not have been the only reason why Farah left. After the split, O'Neill's daughter Tatum alleged that he had physically abused Farrah, though Fawcett never corroborated those claims. Greg Lott In the realm of love, sometimes the most unexpected connections can lead to a profound and enduring relationship. Such was the case for Farrah and Greg Lott. Their paths crossed in the early 1980s when they met through mutual friends. At the time, Greg was a football player at Texas Tech, while Farah was already a renowned actress and international sensation. Despite their contrasting backgrounds, they found common ground and shared a deep connection that would endure over the years. Their relationship blossomed slowly but steadily, fueled by their mutual respect, shared values, and a genuine affection for one another. Farah was drawn to Greg's down-to-earth nature, his kindness, and his unwavering support for her career. Greg, on the other hand, was captivated by Farah's beauty, her intelligence, and the warmth that radiated from her. Their love story was not without its challenges, though. It was marked by long-distance separations due to Farah's demanding schedule and Greg's commitments as a professional athlete. But despite the physical distance, they remained deeply committed to each other, finding solace in the love they shared and the unwavering support they provided. Their bond was put to the test when Farah was diagnosed with cancer in 2006. Greg stood by her side, offering his unwavering support, and he became an integral part of her support system, accompanying her to medical appointments, providing emotional strength, and helping her navigate the challenging journey with grace and resilience. They enjoyed spending quality time with each other, engaging in heartfelt conversations, and finding joy in ordinary moments of life. 
Sadly, Farah's battle with cancer came to an end in 2009, passing away and leaving behind a legacy that would forever impact the world of entertainment. Greg Lott mourned the loss of his beloved partner, cherishing the memories they had created and the love they had shared. Other hookups. In addition to those well-known relationships, Farrah Fawcett's journey through love and romance also included some other shorter encounters. One of these relationships was with Rick Thurman, a musician and songwriter who Farrah dated in the 1970s. Their time short-lived, but it represented a chapter in Farrah's life where she explored connections inside the world of music. Another significant figure in Farrah's love life was Mark Burr a producer and talent manager. Their relationship was characterized by shared professional interests, and their connection lasted for a period of time. However, as with many relationships, it was the entertainment industry. Loads of pressures of work and personal commitments eventually led to them parting ways. Martine Barba, a hunky tennis pro who was nearly half her age, People close to the couple claimed they were even talking of getting married, and that Farah told him, quote, You're everything I ever wanted in a man. But Barba, who was 31, had a dark, sordid secret. He was a convicted sex attacker who narrowly avoided being jailed. Luckily, her friends warned her, and she broke it off just before getting with Ryan O'Neill. Another fling was director James Orr. Now going to the producing side of things, she had a fling with Steve Bing, who was a film producer and entrepreneur. Farah's romantic escapades brought her into the orbit of Dan Pastorini, a former professional football player, and Ron DeGuy, a hockey player. So it was mostly film and TV with some athletes as well. And Lee Majors is of course both of those. Look it up, he was a great college athlete. And finally, Farah had a brief encounter with Mick Jagger. Yup, the legendary musician and Rolling Stones frontman. Their connection added a touch of rock and roll mystique to Farah's love life, showcasing the allure and magnetic pull of Farah Fawcett. As we reflect on Farah Fawcett's romantic life, it is clear she lived a life full of passion, and her experiences, both profound and fleeting, are a testament to the human desire for companionship as we dance this intricate dance of relationships that shape our lives. So which of these relationships did you already know about? Who do you think was the best partner for Farah? Who was the worst? And finally, what's a great role of hers that I should check out? Before you go, smash that thumbs up icon to show us some support. Subscribe to our channel for more nostalgia. And from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you very much for watching.